shiny happy people. Drama queens. I can't bloody stand them. I'm talking specifically about YouTube drama queens. You know the guys. And I say guys because the majority of them are grown men. The guys who read out sensationalist reports from the worst tabloid newspapers on the planet. Headlines that scream we're all going to die because of asteroids or sunspots or whatever space-related or terrestrial hazardous flavour of the week. Newspaper reports written by lazy bastards who do no research and are only there to clickbait their dullard readership. Little wonder, I suppose, that the amateur YouTube operator should wish to emulate them as their viewers are very possibly the same people who read these newspapers. Oh, and do you not find it highly amusing that the channels who share the shit they find are always the ones who screech the loudest about not to listen to the mainstream media? They're all liars. Not unless it suits you, eh? The drama queens of both press and YouTube know so well that sensationalism sells. A simple story presented as something huge and ever so slightly conspiratorial gets the tills ringing and the view counts up. One of the sad bits of this attraction to sensationalism and fake news is that it completely distracts from the real crises going on in our world. I mean, who gives a flying fuck about tons of plastic in our oceans when Joe Public can get all excited and fearful and pee his pants about imaginary planets and light bulb suns? Distorted journalism generates completely unwarranted fears. Psychologists have been saying for a long time that the content of what you watch affects your psychological health and directly affects your mood. And you only have to look at the comment sections of the guilty YouTube videos to see that this actually does happen. In my opinion, presenting something out of nothing is immoral. Oh yeah, sure, some people will of course not take what they see or read for granted and look deeper into a topic and get all the facts. But it is unfortunate that far too many will allow themselves to simply accept without question what their current stupidity guru is telling them. These people would do well to listen to the English writer and philosopher Aldous Huxley who said, Facts do not cease to exist because they are ignored. And why is it that people dwell on the apparent possible catastrophes the drama queens witter on about? If something's going to happen, it'll happen. And there is bog all you can do about, for example, an asteroid landing on your house. Do these people dwell on the possibility of being hit by a bus every time they cross the road? Do they dwell on suffering from extreme food poisoning every time they buy a pre-packed sandwich? But hey, whatever catastrophe is coming to get you, just make sure you buy a t-shirt and a couple of books from Amazon first. It'll save your life. Have a peaceful Sunday. Bye.